Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this simple uh, mechanical fixture. It's got a couple of holes and fillets and not too much else. So let's get into it. Um, one thing I have noticed is I've had a lot of views on my videos but about 90% of them are not subscribed. So if you're watching please consider liking and subscribing. It just helps me to get the video out to more people. So let's get started with today's video. So this is a, the technical drawing of the part that we're going to be designing. Um, my approach is going to be to take it from this side view and extrude out to 70 millimeters deep. So if we have a look here, we've got a 70 there and then it'll go up by 20, 40, 20, so that's 80 up to that flat part, and then 120 to the center over there, and 35, so that's 155 total height, and 80 up. So let's just start with drawing a couple of rectangles here. So I'm gonna go into the front plane, create sketch, on this front plane and I'm going to start with a rectangle starting at the origin so this will be 70 let's go back to this image so we've got that 70 and up by 20 so this is also that's 20 wide I'm assuming so 45 minus 70 yeah, so that's 25. So that, that part is 25 there. So 70, 20 deep, 25. And there we go. So And another rectangle coming from this point. So that height is going to be 40. Let's type it in and if I press tab it'll Help me to the next measurement, 25. So now I'm going to have another rectangle like this one on top there. If I drag this down and touch that point there, you can see the blue dotted line. That'll bring me in line with that point. So that's exactly what I want it to be, 70 by 20. And let's go back into the image. So what I've got is this section. Now I need the upright part, which would be 120 plus 35. So that's 155. So I've already got 80. So 155 minus 80. I can just go over here and draw it up to where I think it is also going to be 20 deep. So Let's check this rectangle at the corner there. And it's on the height. So we'll go 155 minus 80. And that'll get us to that point. Oh, and this will be 20. So now if I measure this distance to this distance, we've got 155, which is the total height. Um, I'm not going to worry about uh, constraining all of these dimensions. Um, what I am going to do is exit the sketch and extrude it. So if I go finish sketch and extrude, I'll select all these profiles and just turn it sideways. I'm going to be extruding out that way to a depth of 70. So that's sort of getting there. Um, now we can see we've got these curves on top and that center diameter circle that goes right through. So let's start with these fillets on the top. There's more than one way to do this. I'll show you both. So it's a 35 millimeter radius. So two of our options are the first one, fillet, click there and 35. 
that will get it exactly what we want if I hold command select that that's the first way there we've got our fillet the other option would be to do an additional sketch this is a little bit more time consuming and not entirely necessary so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a construction line so I've clicked on line tool and if I press X it'll change it to a construction line you can also just click over there slide it along this and I'll see it'll find the center point there so I'll go down to 35 the so 35 is where the center point of my circle is so now I'll do a center diameter circle and I can see there 70 it takes me to the edge on either side let me just turn off the line type take it to the top and there we go I've got my center diameter circle there and I'm going to need to just include these lines so I can extrude that so I'll use line tool or I can just project P and select all of that okay now these will be available as sections that I can extrude so the fillet option was a lot easier but now we select these we can select cut drag that arrow in that direction and now we end up with the same image or the same part but there's that center diameter circle with a diameter of 35 so I'll actually just go into the sketch that I did sketch number two double click on it and I'll do another center diameter circle so I just push C you can click at the top there or you can just push C the shortcut key drag that out 35 finish sketch so now I'll do another extrude let me just activate the sketch of that center diameter circle drag that through you can say you can drag it through or you can extend type to object and then we just click on this side and it'll extend it to that type that side so that's getting a lot closer to what we're looking for now all that's left is this extrude that goes down there the 40 millimeter diameter so to do that I'm going to do a third sketch on this plane over here this top plane and I'll do a center diameter circle I'll slide it along this line and you'll see there where it makes there where you've got the X and triangle that's the center click on it drag it out we know this is 40 so I can just type in 40 and finish sketch then extrude I will select that profile and again I can just drag it down or I can say extend type extend to object and click on the bottom and there it's gonna pull through so I'm looking at that and it looks pretty much the same but I don't like that plain gray let's just right click on the object appearance um, my favorite color is blue so let's, let's do something blue but a uh, anodized blue we'll drag it it'll highlight the whole thing there we go so that's our little our little part a couple of simple steps and we got what we we're looking for so as you can see there's more than one way to do something it's just up to your imagination to figure out which way you're going to choose. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It just helps me to get the video out to more people. If you need any help with any of your projects or you have any questions, please leave a comment. Or you can get hold of me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. Uh, my email address is in the description. Till next time, cheers.